Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2017 and we are doing this problem 42 of the section C. So it is a problem from abstract algebra. Let us have a look. Let G be a subgroup of GL2R generated by these two elements then the order of G is. So the given group G is generated by these two element 0 1 1 0 0 minus 1 1 minus 1 so see uh, if you consider these two element let us say this is a and let us say this is b so what is the meaning of generated it actually means that you are doing what you are doing is this it means that you are powering these I, A and B matrix like this AI, BJ or BI, AJ. Are you getting my point or not? Where I and J belongs to natural number. So what you are doing, you are calculating these. All right. Uh, I should also union them with zero. So this also unions with zero. This is the definition of generated element. Are you getting my point? So G is generated by A and B actually means that you are calculating powers of A when you will keep G A as zero. You will calculate all the powers of A. You will calculate all the powers of B. And then also you will calculate the powers of A, B, A square, B, A cube, B, A, A, A B square, something like this. And some similar thing with the B A also. Now, what I want to tell you is the definition of dihedral group. So dihedral group is actually generated by these two element x and y such that order of x is 2 and order of y is 3. And the prop property that the element x and y hold is this. Uh, sorry, not 3. It is n. Order of y is n. So if you know dihedral group, then it is okay. If you don't know, then you have to understand the dihedral group is also generated by two element which satisfy these properties. Got it? Now, this, we have a similar kind of group that is generated by two element. We have to now calculate what is the order of A. Order of A actually means that when you will multiply it for the least n, you will get identity. All right. That will be the order. So this is your a 0 1 1 0 if you will square this up you will get identity you can calculate it yourself all right what is your b your b is 0 minus 1 1 minus 1 so if you will multiply it three times you will get identity all right so this means that order of a is 2 order of B is 3. Now what I want you to know is this that if you will calculate AB then what will happen if you will calculate this AB why I am calculating AB because I want to verify this property whether it is true or not. So if you will calculate AB you will get 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 and if you will calculate B inverse A inverse then uh, you will get you will get the same thing uh, sorry 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 that means a b is equal to b inverse a inverse we have two elements for this order of a is 2 for the order of b it is 3 and a b is equal to b inverse a inverse that means these two elements satisfies the property of the elements like in dihedral group that means these two a and b are going to generate dihedral group of order 2n suppose we have dihedral group we have written dn so what is the order of dihedral group it is 2n so are you getting my point or not what is n in your case see what is the order of b order of b is 3 so this is your n so this means that group generated by a and b is d3 and you know that what is the order of d3 
it is twice of 3 that means it is 6 so for this problem the answer will be 6 are you getting my point so firstly what i did i firstly find out the order for a and b and then i i, I found that this property also hold for a and b this means that the group that a and b will generate will actually will be actually a dihedral group because it satisfy all the property this is the definition for dihedral group this is the definition so this is how you can solve this problem if you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you